Hi guys, I'm Ben from Adapt Looks and welcome back to another flower photography video. Today we're going to be taking a look at these uh, really interesting thistles. Not your most conventional flower, uh, but I think it's going to be really interesting. So uh, let's find out together. I'm going to get started and I'll see you in just a sec. Eryngium. Uh, I think I'm saying that right. Let me know down in the comments if my uh, pronunciation's not quite spot on there. Um, I'm not much of a gardener. I don't have a green thumb and I always thought that thistles like these were weeds. Uh, so I've never gone and uh, looked too closely at them. But looking at them now, these, these flowers are actually really, really interesting. I think they could pre present a really uh, nice challenge for us uh, to photograph. I think we're going to be able to get up really nice and close into the center of these flowers where it's all blue. There's some highlights of uh, of some gold or yellow colors in here as well. And then obviously there's the green of the uh, the stems and the leaves around it. So I'm going to um, use our Adaptive Studio to light this uh, with some artificial light. Um, play around with different kinds of looks, see if we can't get uh, some interesting sort of threatening vibes going on because it's a, it's a spiky plant here. We might be able to, you know, add some uh, visual interest into these shots a little bit more than usual. Um, so I want to get really close, look at the center of these plants and then get some shots of the overall um, uh, flower as well. So I'm going to get started setting up some lighting um, and I'll show you that in just one sec. I'm using the 100mm uh, f2.8 Tekina lens today so that I can get nice and close into these flowers but uh, also move back and get the whole flower uh, in the shot as well. Um, the flowers uh, themselves are sat in uh, a little pot here, uh, a bottle, so that I can move all the way around and get nice and close in and have full freedom of movement around, uh, around the ends of the thistles here. Um, that brings us on to our lighting, which we also have full freedom of movement with. I've got my uh, Adapter Look Studio control pod sat down on a little miniature tripod here, which will allow us to move all of our lighting arms around at once. Uh, I've got different colors of lighting arms. This, this one's a red, but uh, I've got all of the different colors. I've got lots of whites as well, so I can also make use of some color filters. Uh, now, a question that we get asked quite a lot is what is the difference between um, a coloured lighting arm, so this one's a red lighting arm with the red end on there, and say a red colour filter. Why do we have both? Um, I can really quickly demonstrate to you the difference between a colour filter and a lighting arm. So I'm just going to use this drawing pad to demonstrate really quickly. I'll bring my Adapter Look Studio in just here, and then I'm going to plug in uh, just a red lighting arm to begin with so we can see what that looks like. Uh, so you can actually see that that is really quite intense red light there, um, as opposed to when I bring in um, the, the white lighting arm here, you can see that's white obviously, um, but then if I plug a red color filter on there, this is uh, quite a, a diffused, um, soft red light as opposed to this really harsh, bright red light. Let me just uh, adjust those balances down there so you can uh, see a little bit more clearly. Uh, so you've got more of a wash on this uh, red color filter which is on the white lighting arm and then this is red light coming straight out of the red lighting arm. We can then uh, also diffuse that red lighting arm so you've got two slightly different uh, shades of red in different intensities. So the, the color filters, the diffusers, the colored lighting arms, they all just serve to uh, provide more options for your creative lighting. And that's what we're going to be doing with our thistle. I'm going to be using uh, a combination of different lighting arms, different color filters and diffusers to uh, really nail down exactly the lighting that we're going to need to get in close on these thistles. With all of that said and done, I'm going to uh, get my camera out and start looking really, really closely at these thistles and see how close we can actually get and then maybe move out a little bit. So I am actually going to start with a single white lighting arm plugged in and we can go and see what our thistles actually look like up close. Okay. 
just like our Clematis video uh, last time, if you've not seen that, I'll link it at the top of the screen now. Um, we've been using a single white lighting arm, uh, just pointed uh, sort of towards the back of one of these flowers so that we've got a nice black background and a lot of light down on the subject. Unfortunately, I don't think that's gonna work quite as well for this flower, uh, simply because uh, the center of these flowers is quite different to what we were dealing with last time. There's no uh, light shining through any of these uh, petals or leaves um, and there's a lot of spikes. It's very complicated uh, to look at these, these flowers. So I think we're going to need a little bit softer light and maybe, uh, uh, maybe look at introducing some uh, colour into here as well. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, just diffuse this white light. Uh, so it's a much, much softer light on the back of our flower. The next thing that I want to do is to bring in another white lighting arm to light the front of this flower. You can see that it's actually uh, it's in the shadow at the minute, so we need a little bit of light on the front as well. Uh, as nice as that light shining through those uh, through those spikes is, I think we need to light the front. Uh, now that's a little bit uh, a little bit much, a little bit bright, and a little bit white. So what I want to try and do is uh, just have a look at plugging in. A color filter here just to add a little bit of interesting color into this image just on the bottom sides of these leaves. Uh, I'm going to experiment around with different color filters, different combinations of our lighting arms, diffusers, um, color filters and different colored lighting arms as well just to see what I can actually do with the colors that are naturally already in the thistle and see if I can't uh, make the most of those by adding a little bit extra color uh, using our lighting. Shooting the thistle is pretty tricky. Uh, getting the camera down uh, into the right position to get the composition that you want is one thing, but then getting the lighting down uh, into the right spot so it fills in some of those uh, shadows in between the nooks and the crannies of the center of these flowers, uh, that's another thing entirely. Um, using our, our diffusers, our colour filters has been really handy as well to be able to get uh, some additional colour in there where we need it and make the shots a little bit more visually interesting. Uh, I also made use of uh, the, uh, the beam angle control on the ends of our lighting arms to get the light exactly where I wanted it and only where I wanted it. Uh, so we managed to get some really cool shots today and I'm really happy with today's shoot. But uh, let me know what you think down in the comments to uh, the shots that I've got today. Um, and if you've got any corrections of my um, flower and gardening terms and my pronunciation, do let me know uh, if I'm saying things wrong. I'm not a gardener, so uh, yeah, let me know if you are and uh, you're spotting things that I'm doing wrong. I'm really enjoying taking all of these shots of flowers. It's not my usual subject, so uh, I'm, I'm really happy to be experimenting. Um, if you're happy to be uh, watching me experiment, make sure to give the video a like down in uh, the comment section so I know that you're enjoying these types of videos. If you are enjoying them, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell button as well. That bell button will notify you every time we upload a new video. Uh, for now though guys, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.